Welcome to the Heal Utah Capital Report Week 2. Woo! I'm Noah Materko. I'm Carmen Valdez. And I'm Grace Olskamp. We have two energy storage bills that we've been following. Senator Fillmore's SB 77 and Senator Kitchen's SB 78. Both of these bills work to advance the widespread deployment of energy storage in the state of Utah, which we very much support. They have different funding mechanisms, but they both work in the same direction. They also both passed under their respective committees this week, which is very exciting, and they're waiting to be heard on the Senate floor. So now is the time to reach out to your senators and let them know you support energy storage. Air quality appropriations is still something that's ongoing, and we probably won't know exactly what's happening or what will be budgeted until the end of the session. There's been two bills that have come through that we are watching that will require appropriations from this fund. P Representative Patrice Arendt's Voluntary Home Energy Program, which will provide a home energy performance report, and Representative Steinquist's Vehicle Emissions Program, which will is basically a cash for clunkers, but to get some bad emissions off our road and encourage uh, purchasing of new vehicles. <laughs> Every year, there's always a bill that magically pops up um, that we oppose, and it typically has to do with radioactive waste, and this year is no different. This last week, House Bill 233, Natural Resource Legacy Fund Amendments, came up, which is sponsored by Representative Casey Snyder. The idea of this bill, the purpose of it, seems like a good thing. Um, it would create a board and a legacy fund to work on issues related to habitat, open spaces, and um, endangered species. So that part of the bill, we're fine with. But the funding mechanism proposed in this bill would create a new tax on depleted uranium, which is a type of radioactive waste actually not even allowed in the state right now. And Heal Utah has been working for 10 years to make sure that this type of waste can never come in the state. We're worried that it'll pass this. It would set legislative intent to eventually bring depleted uranium into Utah. Thanks for tuning in, but make sure you come and sit in lobby with us every Tuesday and Thursday morning starting at 9 a.m. Let's get to our legislators. We'll Thanks, see you guys. up here. <laughs>